if I ask you to draw three times x, or let's say two x, actually let's make it more interesting, minus two x plus one. How would you draw that? You would first set your function to be three to the power of x and write that in terms of this function. Okay, so compared to this function, the x, y is changing this way. Uh, minus x over 2 and y plus 1. 3 to the power of x. Okay, 3 to the power of x. When it's 0, it's still 1. When it's 1, it's 3 now, not, not 2. And it's, when it's negative 1, it's 1 third. So it looks a little bit more steeper. Okay, let's transform our points. 0, 0, the origin first. 0, 1. 0, 1 gives you 0, 2. 1, 3 becomes negative half. Negative half, 4. And negative 1, 1 third becomes positive half. Okay, positive half and 1 and 1 third. I just plug the points in here. Okay, let me first plot the origin, which is a 0, 1. Okay, I'm just going to highlight, use that. Okay. And 0, 2 is right here. And it becomes negative half and quarter. Negative half and sorry, 4. So here's 1, negative 1. It's here and it goes up to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What's happening here? It's going up this way, right? Usually it goes down this way, but it's going up. And then instead of one, it's half, half, one and a third. So one and a third is right here. Okay. From our transformation lecture, what does a negative do? The negative to the x value. Reflection on? the y-axis. If it's negative on the y, it's a reflection on the x-axis. So if we reflect this on the y-axis, look, it looks like this, doesn't it? If you follow these points here, look, it looks like that. Furthermore, this 2 is a horizontal compression, so it gets squeezed from the sides. That's why it doesn't go up to 1. It only goes to half, and we get the point. A negative half, and we got all the way up to four.